Nowadays, we are listening to a lot about going to space, colonizing Mars. But how will we do that when the SpaceX Starship that was once assured to take us to Mars keeps on exploding every time it is launched? Hello, viewers. Welcome to TechWiki, where you learn everything related to engineering and technology. In today's video, we are going to talk about everything related to the interior of Starship and why it always explodes. Are you ready to go on an amazing journey to discover the answers to all your questions related to the SpaceX Starship? If yes, stay with us to the end of the video. Before we begin, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notified when I come back with a new video. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. 1. What is the goal of Starship? Starship's goal for long-haul trips to Mars and back could take up to nine months each way. Musk is looking to install around 40 cabins in the payload area near the front of the upper stage. Starship might also play a role in NASA's Artemis program, aiming to establish a long-term human presence on the moon. In 2020, SpaceX was awarded $135 million by NASA to advance the design of Starship so it could be used as a crewed lunar lander. 2. What is inside the Starship? Before talking about what's inside the Starship, let's first look at its exterior. Have you ever seen a rocket before that is pointed? Well, if you are thinking of any logical reason behind this design, then let me tell you that it was just a random pick from a comic movie famously known as Dictator. The Starship is 18 meters high, creating a space to sustain astronauts during the months-long journey to the Red Planet. To maintain the budget and make the Starship more sustainable, the Starship exterior is made up of stainless steel. It is better than carbon and materials used in the construction of rockets. For instance, stainless steel can sustain up to around 1500 degree Fahrenheit, which no other material can survive. The interior of the Starship is designed to enhance the astronauts' trip and provide them the physical and mental support needed for such an undertaking. There is a launch and observation deck here. 16 crewmates will embark on a months-long voyage to Mars. The reclining Starship seats are positioned in a circle and are identical to those currently used in the Dragon capsule that took Bob and Doug to the NASA SpaceX Demo-2 mission and the future mission of Crew-1. These seats offer outstanding support and comfort, including a connection to supply power and life support to the SpaceX spacesuits. The astronauts will wear them until they are safely out of Earth's gravitational pull. Most of the control is turned over to the onboard computers to launch the Starship. With a crew of three, the commander and two pilots constantly monitor systems on overhead displays, and these extensive touchscreen controls will provide an interface for the pilots with the AI responsible for takeoff, cruising, and landing. Part of the daily activities for these crew members will be to monitor the progress through these displays. Other similar interfaces throughout the ship and the remaining crew of scientists, engineers, and other experts will help the crew prosper and survive once they reach the Red Planet. They will be able to lie back in comfortable seats and enjoy the launch. This is not a cramped launch from days long past in a cavernous space. Displays on the walls will allow all the passengers a view of the launch in addition to those that will be able to watch the beautiful huge windows that take up one wall of the room. These are the most enormous windows to ever fly in space and offer unprecedented views of the voyage allowing the crew to expand their mental living space beyond the starship not needed after the launch. The spacesuits will stow away, and chairs will be folded down into cavities on the floor, leaving this deck completely open. The launch deck will also act as the observatory during the month-long mission, with overhead storage containing everything required for onboard mission specialists to monitor space, Earth, the Moon, and Mars. Before we talk about the reason for the Starship explosion, make sure you subscribe to our channel because we need it to survive on Earth. 3. Why Starship Keeps Exploding SpaceX has declared that they will be ready with a Starship in which humans can travel to space, but continuous explosions of Starship do not make it look like it's happening soon. We understand that the Starship has a complex structure, and it is common to have blasts during tests. But when this starship is going to carry human beings in the next couple of years, these blasts are not leaving any good impressions amongst people. SN8 testing passed two steps very easily. 
but it lost track in the last step, that is landing. But SN9 was horrible. It was launched, was about to get tilted, and some of its parts started falling, which clearly signify the rocket was not appropriately designed. And the second thing that we need to be careful about in these rockets is, Starship is made up of multiple engines, and every time during the launch there is some issue in the engine, which is ultimately the reason behind the explosion. One issue with the Raptor engine is, the Raptor is too close to redline power limits. This means SpaceX is trying to fly Starship with a considerable force that will undoubtedly provide good efficiency to the rocket, but its side effects are not suitable for the engine. Noticing all these facts, we will say that your dream to travel to Mars is going to take some more time. By what time will a proper Starship be ready to carry humans to space? Let us know your views on this in the comment section below. If you like this video, like and share. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you do it before the subsequent Starship explosion.